and welcome and thank you for joining me today we're going to talk about another flow use case and we're going to focus on notifications or better known as the bell icon in salesforce so there might be many scenarios where we would want users to receive notifications there can be record triggered notification that you want so for example if an opportunity is closed one or if there's a high amount opportunity or a case is escalated and so on you may want to receive notifications or if the management wants to make certain announcements to their users you can also use notification for those scenarios my use case is that i want the managers to be able to send custom notifications to their user group so that could mean you know they publish a new knowledge article they want the users to go look at those knowledge articles so that was my use case where we needed a custom screen where the managers can input their information and send notifications to a bunch of users within salesforce and notifications are a great tool because you don't want to send emails for everything um, that might get lost within their inbox. So anytime they log into the Salesforce, the notification will be there. So it's easily accessible within the platform. Okay, so um, before we start the flow, you will have to first go to setup and type notification. I'm going to do that here, notification and go to custom notifications. So, and you have to create a type of notification. The reason for this is you may want to control various user groups and how many types of notifications you have within your Salesforce system. You may want to disable or enable various announcements or notifications based on what's happening. There might be like a yearly notification, things like that. So you can also just create a general notification if you don't have that need. And then that is the base type because you need this in the action that we will later use. I recommend you create one notification type to start with. I do have a notification called announcements here, so I'm gonna leave it at that. You can also enable desktop or mobile or both. And then we go into the flow. So I'm gonna go to a flow and create a new flow. Here you can either pick screen flow or record triggered flow depending on your scenario. If you want the system to auto create notifications, you want to use the record triggered. If you want the control and user being able to interact with the notification, then you want the screen flow. I'm going to go with the screen flow because that is my requirement. Hit create. And the first screen, I just want to gather information from the management in what notification they want to send. So I'm just going to use like two text fields here to gather those information. So first text field is just the subject of the notification. Second one is going to be just the body of notification and what the details are. And I also want to link the notification to the account or any object. So I'm just going to pretend that my notifications are related to accounts. So in that case, you can do something like create a lookup here to give more control. So I'm just going to add a few things here. BI name is contact account lookup account ID account contact and then you can do another lookup to also choose where does the notification go to and we'll take a look at the action and what the attributes is suspecting that is why i'm creating these things so look up for user in my use case i'm gonna send notification to specific users but if your requirements are around sending notification to a group you can also have like a drop down of groups here and then collect those groups and then send notification to those groups too so in this case i'm just gonna go with the user and fill api name is owner ID you can also choose multiple users right here so you can say you know maximum selections being 10 or however many users you want default is one and hit done oh you need the name here cool so we've got the notification screen. Now there is a notification action that you can use. 
And before we use that action, let's take a look at what the action will expect you to pass over. So I will share this link as well, but there's a send custom notification custom action in flow. And here are the various things that it is expecting you to pass. Custom notification ID, we just created the notification ID. So we want to query that and pass that on. We want notification body, title, that is pretty self-explanatory. Recipient IDs are interesting because you can send not only to users, but also if you pass account ID to that recipient ID, it will send notifications to all the account teams of those IDs. And note that the recipient IDs does accept collection. So it's not just single user that you can pass. You can pass a group of user IDs, group of account IDs and so on. Group ID is also cool because then you can send notification to a group of public users that you want the notification to go to, QID and so on. So very powerful tool. Um, and target ID and target page reference are something where the page will take them to once they click on the notification. So target page reference is, let's say if you want all your users going to a particular app or a particular page that you have or a report, um, you can set that in target page reference or if you want them to go to a particular record after sending the notification, you can set the target ID. We'll see both of them really quick. And for this target page reference, you have to reference this um, lightning components guide because this is the JSON that you'll be passing in the page reference to be able to send it to specific pages. It's expecting a JSON. Okay, now let's go back here. So as we discussed, we do need the notification type. So I'm gonna query that first. You can just hard code it, which I don't recommend. So I'm going to just say get notification type ID. And you can start to type notification. And there's the custom notification type. I'm gonna say name equals announcements. You just have to make sure you are getting the ID back so copy that announcements and only the first record is good because I only have one. Awesome. So that's my notification type ID and everything else I can just get directly from the screen. For your use case, it depends on how you're getting the recipient's ID. If you are getting it from various groups, then you may have to do additional queries before we get to the action. I'm just going to go right into the action now. So go to action here and select the notifications and start to hover. You'll see send custom notification. There are also other standard ones, which is interesting. I've never used them, but you can try them out. Looks pretty cool. So stage reminder is an interesting one. I can see use cases for that. So you don't have to build it from scratch. You can try to use the ones that are already there. And let's call it send announcements. Custom notification ID. We already queried this. So I'm just gonna say ID here. Okay, notification body, I have the body in my screen component. Title, I have that as well. I think I call it subject. And the recipient's ID, I'm going to just use the user lookup dot the record IDs collection. In my case, I only have one, but you could have multiple. And target ID, let's try that for first. So target ID, I'm going to pass the account lookup dot ID. So the account that I pick, that's where it will go to. And hit done, save this. And let's debug this, make sure everything is working. So subject, alert, this is a test announcement. I'm going to choose a account that I have, choose myself as the user and hit next. Let's see if any errors. Okay. So as you can see, send custom notification. I can see the inputs. It found the notification type ID, record IDs, same. And then the account ID. Now I'm going to go back to my org here. I have a notification here. I'm going to click on that. Click here. It should take me to that account page. Yep, so it's navigating me to the page because that's what 
and having my target reference ID. Cool. Now let's go back and switch that to page reference. So I'm going to exclude this and include a page reference instead. And I'm just going to copy one of the easy ones. So I'm just going to copy this standard app sales. So what is this saying is you can navigate your users to the sales app. So let's go back there and put that JSON right there. Hit done. Save. Then debug it again. Run. Actually, it doesn't really matter what I enter in account because I'm not using it. It's fine. Okay, so this time the page reference is what we are getting. So I'm going to go and try that out. Actually, I want to try it from different page. I'm already on sales page. So let's see where it takes me. Maybe I change my app first and go to service app just to check. So I'm going to click on the notification. Hello, contact. Click here and then it should take me to the sales app. Awesome. So that looks good. All right, that is all for today, short and sweet. I recently learned about this, so I thought I would share and hopefully this is helpful to you. Let me know if you have any questions.